You've got to check out this project today. It is so stinking cute. Hi, I'm Judy. Welcome to my craft studio. Today we're going to be working on this really cute and fun stamp and die set that I just got from Timu today. It looks like a lot of fun and this is going to be really adorable. Get your stamps and dies are mixed up once you kind of break them apart and if they're not kept together. So what I started doing was taking screenshots of the sample pictures from the um, product website that I bought these from and that way I kind of have an idea of what it looks like, how it goes together and some color ideas and what the dies look like and what the stamps look like, what they go together. And on this sheet here I actually put the price that I paid um, at Timu and there's the stamp and there's the die. Prices and the names right down here. Now since I bought this uh, two weeks ago when it received in the mail today the price has gone down so I clicked the button reduction in the next in the 30 days since I bought it they will price adjust and I clicked the button and it was done within five minutes. I got price reduction on all the things that was in my cart that was down cheaper. So I was really surprised. So that was pretty cool. So let's go ahead and start this project. And so what I'm gonna do first, get my little stamper out here. This I got on Amazon last year, just a kind of a cheap knockoff version, just to see if I liked stamping, see if, how it worked. And it works really well. I had an old Cricut mat that um, not working too good so I w and it had some cracks in it so I cut it down and I fit it in here and this kind of will hold the papers down a little bit more secure. So it's got a little bit of sticky in there and when it loses sticky I just run it through some uh, warm soapy water, let it dry and it is good to put back in here again. So let's go ahead and uh, stamp this image on a few of these here. So I've been using um, a lot of scraps and what's in my stash. One of the things I'm going to really try to do in the year 2024 is not buy any more paper other than maybe white cardstock. Uh, I'm going to use what's in my stash, utilize it as best as I can, get rid of the scraps, use everything I have because I got a huge amount uh, and I just need to use it before I buy any more. And if I do need something that I don't have on stock, I'm going to make it myself. All right. So I went ahead, went through my white card scraps and got a couple of pieces here that was gonna work for these stamps. I'm just gonna place this right up here in this corner. And with the stamp, I'm gonna use this big one. And these have the matching dies with it. So after I get done stamping and coloring it, I can uh, run it through the uh, die press and it'll cut out. I'm gonna put that right there in the middle. So you just close the lid, it will stick to it. We'll ink this up and stamp it down and we can, um, since it's on here in a fixed position, we can stamp this as many times as we want if we didn't get as much ink where we wanted it. The ink I'm going to use is from scrapbook.com, premium dye ink. I'm going to ink up my stamp here pretty well. Okay, it's gonna press that down, lift it up. That turned out really nice. I like that print down. That we'll take this die off, and our little card we'll put over here so we can color that in a moment. And let's go ahead and get our next one. I'm looking to see where the right angle is so I can put it right in there. I think this one will fit two of these smaller dies. Let's do this little guy here. This little guy here. So I'm trying to leave enough room around these so when I uh, the die press I won't cut any of its neighbor off. All right, let's close this down. Get it sticking really good. Stamp this up. This is such an easy way to do it. Stamp these stamps. All right. I think I want this guy a little bit darker here, so I'm going to go ahead and ink him up one more time. Okay. I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and put these back. Yeah, move on to my last one I'm going to be working on. 
Oops, I get a little smudge on there. I usually wear gl rubber gloves when I stamp because I am very messy with the ink. And you can see evidence of it right there. I'll put that little stamp over there away from those smudges. Let's go ahead and ink him up. How about just one more time? All right, came out perfect. Let me go ahead and clean this up, clear out my space, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my images here. Picked out the colors I'm gonna be using. I have some grays for the mouth, some greens for the leafy areas, and some blues for the flower. Oh, I need to grab a yellow for Here's the yellow. Now they're kind of generic run of the mill ink markers that I bought on Amazon last year. They work pretty good when they get dry. I just kind of uh, take out the uh, tip here, put about an ounce or about one cc of rubbing alcohol in there and shake it around, let it sit and it works good as new and so I never throw these away um, but I do have to replenish the alcohol every now and then. Let's go ahead and uh, start coloring these guys. I'm no expert at this but I do like to color. Who doesn't? So I'm going to start with uh, the little gray mouse. These turned out so cute colored. Take a look at these. Get under the camera there. Just a little bit of color. Not much, didn't take very long. These turned out very cute and adorable. All right, I'm gonna get uh, my dies out and uh, my cutting machine and we'll get these cut out real quick. You can tell I've used this quite a bit, but it works pretty well. And so what I'm going to do is line these dies up with these. Let's see which one goes where here. I think that one goes on this guy. And I secured these down with a little bit of paint, painter's tape. A little, little bit there. And I'm just going to put a few pieces up here to work with. And let's line this die up. Try to get my head in the viewer there. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to put a little bit of piece of tape on the metal die, some on the paper, and then some on my cutting mat. And right there, that will hold that in place. So hopefully it won't scoot around too much. This one here will line up right there. He scoot it up so you can see what I'm doing. Just lining up the die. So 
I'm just going to flip this down onto my hard cutting surface. Let's see. All right. And I only taped these because I want this to line up precisely with the stamp. Let's see how well it came out. Oh, that one came out so cute. Ah, oh, so cute. I'm gonna cut these dies on one piece of blank white and I'm gonna double these up, just give them a little bit more thickness. Okay, now that we got these blanks also cut, we will glue these together. They'll just be a little bit more substantial piece stock when we put the uh, cards together. But what I'm gonna do first, spray some Rust-Oleum clear frosted glaze on top of these. It'll give a little bit of sparkle and it will help seal in the inks in here. And it will just give it a nice sparkle and shine. So, and I can link uh, that product below so you know uh, what I used. Uh, let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I took these outside and sprayed these with a Rust-Oleum uh, frosted gloss. Tell it there, but it leaves a sparkle and a shine. And it dries pretty quick too. This is my favorite glue, my Barely Art Precision Craft glue with a little precision tip here. Yeah, let me clean that end off just a little bit. I'm gonna glue these little guys right onto their blanks so they'll be ready for our crafting. All right, it just makes a nice substantial piece to work with. Okay, I'm gonna let those dry for a minute or so and I'll be right back. Okay, here's our cute little mice all ready to go. Since we uh, double these with some blanks, they're nice and substantial. Feel really nice and expensive. And that little um, sparkle frost glaze that we put on there really gives them a lot of shine. So what I'm gonna work for, on first, I'm gonna work on these three smaller mice first. And I'm gonna make these little note cards. So I was at Hobby Lobby a couple of weeks ago when they had their end of winter clearance on their stationary items. And I found these little cards and they're three by three. Originally $4.49, got them for $1.12 per box. So I got several boxes of these. And this is something uh, I decided that I was going to use and reuse these cards in envelopes. And we're just going to put our design right on top of these. On the back section here where it has the uh, name of the company that made this, we're just going to put a sentiment sticker on top of that and then our design will go on the front and we're going to stamp something on the inside also. And I decided to go with this kind of a minty green teal color because it kind of matches the theme of the other scrap paper I found that goes matches as blue. And so we'll go with this and match with this. So I'm going to open this up. Okay, I went ahead and put one together. This is a sentiment on the back. These sentiments I, all, I bought from Timu. And I bought a black and white pack and a uh, multicolored pack. And just different affirmation sayings on these. Uh, just peel and stick. And uh, so I just found some that kind of matched this and uh, was the right size to go across and peeled and sticked some of those on there. Go ahead and find one for this one here. Make sure it's big enough. There we go. And let's work on the front side. So this is the one that's already finished. 
See how cute that turned out? Whatever size card you use, just kind of um, uh, measure against that. So since this is a three by three card, I went ahead and cut a frame about um, two and three quarters, and then I got one for two and a half. And then I went ahead and layered a couple of elements on here. Yeah, let's just go ahead and put these together. Got a little assembly line here. I noticed when I used this cardstock in the past, kind of like a, um, a foil color uh, paper, uh, the tape didn't want to stick to it very well. So I'm going to use some double side tape and some glue. And um, hopefully that will keep it all together. Kind of directional and this is too so i'm just going to make sure it goes all in the same direction and let's go ahead and kind of eyeball that so it's in the center press firmly onto the next one a little bit of glue in the middle that little section's done there now i'm going to go ahead and glue it to the card let's do the same thing tape on all four sides and glue in the middle We got our little guy in the center of a circle there. Here's the circles. Cut this out of some matching cardstock. Just kind of seeing where I want him. I think I'm going to have his nose stick off just a little bit. Looking so cute. Glue these guys here, but let's uh, see how close our sentiment's going to get before we glue that down. Up here in my little bin. All right. Since this is a little thinner paper, I'm going to actually use the double-sided tape for this. The glue would just probably uh, make it curl a little bit. Great. I got this on Timu also little T ruler and so I'm just going to line it up with the side of that card and the sentiment goes down right against that ruler and will be nice and straight. Put a little bling on this one so let's go ahead and bling these guys out. All right didn't these come out adorable. They have matching envelopes. You can just fill the substantialness of this with that extra piece of cardstock in there. So this is what I planned for this one. I have an A2 card and I'm just going to build off of that. So I went ahead and cut according to that size. And so here's my A2 card. And I'm not going to fold this until we're done assembling it. I have a white frame, foil frame, pattern background, two circle cut dies. Little mice are going to go right inside there. Got a sparkly banner for the bottom. And, um, and uh, this will layer up the sentiment to look really nice on there. And I think that'll look good. So that's our plan for this. So let's go ahead and start making this. And I'm going to go ahead and put this together first. So that will give it a chance to dry. The cinnamon is also from the stamp set and um, I stamped it on photo paper scrap that I had and then I um, heat embossed it with clear embossing ink and that makes it stand out a little bit there. Okay, here's this A2 card. And you see this piece of scrap that uh, I practiced stamping on. And yeah, we're not going to let that go to waste and we'll just put it right on here. So 
looking nice. I got a little bit of, okay, now we've got our pieces that are nice and dry now. There's sparkle cardstock. Let's see where this is going to go. Don't really want it touching. So I hang this one off just a little bit on the bottom. And that one looks like that's going to go there. So that looks great. Just going to put some glue around this glitter white strip. Alright, let's glue this guy down. Right in the center. Oh, isn't that cute? Alright, gotta add a little bit of bling to this also. Use a little bit larger rhinestone since this is a larger project. What do you think? Think that turned out pretty? Let's get some nice close. All right. Once this dries, I'll fold my card. And um, this is too pretty to give away. 